All right, so I've come down to see the boys from Command. They're doing a dig day. So they're doing a dig demo day for their uni control system. So they've got their little 1.7 ton there. We're gonna have a bit of a play on that. So what have we got here? Okay, so uh, we've got here a few products from the Unicontrol brand. So we've got the, uh, the Tilt Rover. Um, we're demonstrating the excavator as well down here. Um, and yeah, basically everything machine control. Okay, so can you maybe just run us through a little bit about you know, the systems that you've got here today? Yeah, so this, uh, uh, this is the tablet for the, uh, for the, uh, the Rover here. Um, it is a full Tilt Rover. Um, so we're looking at uh, full tilt compensation with an IMU up in the uh, in the head here. So no matter what angle this is on, uh, you can get the inverts of your pipes and still be accurate right to this point down here. Um, that's the advantage of a tilt rover, and uh, that's one thing we're going to showcase today, um, along with the excavator solution that we have down here as well. Guys, well, we'll go down to the machine here, and we'll show you what the machine is. All right, let's have a go. So on this particular machine, we've got the command, uh, the unit control system on this. So essentially, if you come around to the front here, um, we can show you all the sensors here. So we've got the boom sensor here, we've got the stick sensor, we've got the bucket sensor, and we've also got the tilt sensor as well. Um, and if we come around to the back, we've got the two antennas on the roof. So that will provide you your GPS uh, position. And then if you're looking into the cab here, into the open cab, you have your screen as well. Now if you just want to jump on, I can run you through it. Here we go. All right, all right. So what we have here, so it's all fired up, it's all got corrections, and essentially at the moment, you're on a particular design, you're just on a flat surface here at the moment. Um, so up the top here, you have all your heights and stuff. You can also change these as well, so you can check exactly what your position is. So you your northing and your easting and your height here. Um, you've got your machine there. You've also got your different views if you swipe across. You can zoom in, zoom out. So if you're on a big design, you can you can shuffle across and see where your machine is on the design. Um, over here, we have your slope function. So if you press and hold there, you can also add your side offsets. If you have any side offsets, you can add your GPS offset. You can also add any uh, uh, vertical offsets as well. So if you're digging below a particular level or something, you can also add that in there as well. You can also change your bucket with this function here. So at the moment, there's, there's, there's two buckets there. So you can change those there. Um, you can also create your surfaces here. So if you go create surface, you can create a surface, just a flat surface. You can create a surface from points do a foundation outline as well and you can also create a cross section so if you're cutting like a swale drain you can also do that as well. We go back in there you can also um, do slopes as well so if we go next there you can do a point in percent you can work from two points you can do a four point in line and you can also do two points in a percentage as well so you've got plenty of plenty of options for whatever you're doing out on site you can also work in 2D as well if you're not running GPS, but we prefer to run 3D because it's more accurate. All right, so you just rotate it? Yeah. yeah. And just put the bucket down? Yeah, put, yeah, put the bucket down. All and right. then press that point. Yep. All right, now spin around to, spin around over there. Yep. Perfect. All right, now go back around to the front there. 
Perfect. All right, back the revs off. All right, so we got our points there. We'll create a uh, point height to line. Go back here. Add a slope. Uh, create surface. Cross section. From points, we will select that one and that one. We've got our little surface there. So now it knows what the actual surface area is, yeah? Yep. So if you come inside that surface, uh, so, so if you bring the, uh, the, bucket uh, in. the bucket in, it'll yep. be on, on design, and oh. it'll show you your, uh, yep. your cup fills there. Oh, cool. Right, so if you reverse back, yep. Yeah, should be in the design now. Perfect. Now, if you move the bucket around, you can see where your height is. So now, if I go like that, it'll tell me. Yep. So that's the surface that you created. So yep. essentially, you can what you can do here is you can add. Say, for example, if you want to do a cut of 200 below. Yeah. Add your 200 in there below. Hit done, and now you got to dig down 200. Yeah, 10 mil. So you can see the numbers going down, yeah. And then what? When it's green, that's it, yeah? Yep. yep. Might, the ground might be too solid. <laughs> so that green means that that's it. So you're under 50 mil on that side, on the left hand side. Yeah. So so I'm nearly 50 mil deep to what I'm supposed to be. Is that right? No, you've got to come 50 mil. Uh, 50 mil more. Okay. Yeah. And that means I've still got what another 80, yeah, 80, 80, 80 mil? mil to go. Yep. yep. On, on, that, uh, on that side, yeah. On that side. Yeah, yeah. But because it's tilted as well, that side will be. Yeah. So you might yeah. even also tilt the bucket to do that as well. Yeah. Is this where's the tilt on this one? Now the tilt is yeah, on that one there. I know. <laughs> There you go. That is sensitive, isn't it? Yeah. Well, oh, we both seen green there. Yeah. There you go. Awesome. About 30 mil, but yeah, like it's. Yeah. How cool is that? Green baby. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Very good. All right. So uh, now we've had a bit of a play. Can you just take us through what you actually get? So if I was to buy one of these, um, the Uni Control System, what do you actually get, and and how's it set up on the on the machine? Yep. So uh, nice and easy. We've got the four sensors. So we've got the uh, the boom stick, bucket, and tilt sensor down here. Um, so that that takes care of all of the front of the machine geometry. Um, and then when it comes back to uh, the smaller machines, uh, if they've got a swing boom, uh, this is the swing boom sensor down here, so it runs from, uh, runs from here. Normally it gets hidden under the bottom, but just for demonstration purposes, we've got it up here so you can see what the sensor actually looks like. Yep. Um, and then you've got the, uh, the two antennas up the top here. Um, obviously the screen is here, but then these are the key, uh, key components up on the roof here. Uh, so we've got the... Uh, the brains unit, the VG unit, uh, the uh, modem, and then the radio. Um, so you can connect either via N-trip or via uh, radio corrections. All right.
Oh, cool. And what about, so how do these, are they removable? Because, I mean, if, yeah. you're leaving your, if you do leave your machines on site, you know, obviously you don't want to leave these things. How does, that, how does that work? Yeah, no drama. So these are all just on by magnet. Um, so you'll notice the magnet up the top here. Um, and then this one is just on by uh, uh, a Velcro. So we can uh, attach and detach these at any stage that you want. Um, we normally recommend taking them off the smaller machines because they don't have the security. Yeah. Um, so that's why they're all on just via magnet. Um, and then on the bigger machines, uh, you can choose to uh, leave the key components in the ca in the cab that are hidden, um, and take the screen and the uh, and the mushrooms off if you want. Oh. Um, that's what we would normally recommend. Cool. All right. And so this screen is um, is that mobile, and you can use that on the on the rover as well. Uh, if it's licensed, yes. Um, okay. So you can, it's the same, uh, same particular software, um, it's just in a different application. So you've got uh, the Unicontrol app for excavators, uh, Unicontrol Dozer for dozers, and then Unicontrol Rover for the rovers. Oh. So they're three different apps, you can access them on uh, these tablets. Same tablet to go uh, on any of the machines. Yeah. Because I was just thinking, like, if I'm running a, running a job, if I can use that in my machine and then use it as a rover, you know, it'd be... Well, to make it simple, the, the Unicontrol rover uh, generally just comes as a kit. And then what you can do is when you've done the data on your, on your rover, you upload it to the cloud, um, and then you have direct uh, input for the, uh, for the screen here. So you can give your operators uh, live updates on the run via the cloud. So you can just upload it, and if you're in the same project, you just download it straight from the tablet. No more USBs, it's a thing of the past. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. All right, no, thank you very much. No problem at all, thanks for coming. No worries, thank you.